Hey, it's Sam Adams, and we're back with another episode of Pinterest in Real Life. Today is going to be one of my absolute favorites, I think. If it works, hopefully. So you take one of your favorite pictures and you blow it up. This is me and my boyfriend. Love that guy. And then I got two canvases. You need two black canvases. You can use white, too, for the, the one that you actually put the picture on, they say, but... I'm just gonna go with black right away. You need Mod Podge. They say to use the mat. That's gonna give it the actual texture of the canvas. You need your little foam brush and a, a utility knife just to cut the sides of the picture because as you can see, it's just a little big, so we want it to fit flat. And we're gonna get started. The first thing that we wanna do is just put a thin layer of the Mod Podge right on the top of the canvas. I've never done anything like this, but everybody always sees this on Pinterest and says they want to try it, so, and they say they want to try it, so here we are, going to give it a try. Canvases can be very expensive when we got these family pictures taken. <laughs> we looked into them and decided we were going to go with a Pinterest, Pinterest project instead, and if it works, we're going to make a monster one. That's why I have a bigger one. Now you place the picture on top of the Mod Podge. It's going to be like glue on there. Try and sit it as flat as possible. Make sure that it's nice and flat and sticking nicely. Once you do that, you let it dry. I got a black canvas is so I didn't have to paint the sides, but it looks like even when you do have a black canvas, it's easier to paint the sides because you have this line and there's spots right here where we would easily be able to cover it up with just some black paint. So this is supposed to be the scariest part of the whole project because you think you're ruining the picture when you're doing this because you're going to take a thin layer of the Mod Podge and you're really quite literally going to go over your picture. She swears that it dries clear though and this is what's going to give it that texture texture that everybody pays big money for. When I put the Mod Podge on it, it's supposed to, I'm going to stamp it with the other canvas okay. and then it'll, that'll give it the canvas, right. yeah. the canvas texture. Oh, okay. Alright, you want to do this immediately. You don't want to wait. They say literally stamp it while it's still wet. <sighs> it's intimidating. Check it out, you can see the texture on there after stamping it with the other canvas. And then once it dries, can you see that? It's obviously still white because it's still wet, but once it's dry, it's going to look like it's legitimately a canvas. Now he's just taking the black paint and putting it around the edges, trying to make it a little bit more even. But it really looks cool because it blends so nicely into the canvas instead of just being a sharp line. We waited about 20 minutes, let it dry and it turned out amazing. You can see the texture is perfect. It looks just like a real canvas. We put that little bit of black paint around the edge, which kind of, it, it made it blend more, and it looks like a legit canvas for quite literally, what, a fourth of the cost? I'm super thrilled and ready to make some bigger ones. Thanks for watching Pinterest in real life. It was a success.